Good evening. A Waikiki church is breaking with tradition and stopping its open door policy because of frightening disturbances at the church. As KITV Force Jody Leong tells us, St. Augustine's has hired police to protect the church and its worshipers. St. Augustine Church welcomes hundreds of worshipers each week. The church used to keep its doors open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But several incidents in recent weeks forced the church to hire police security and lock its doors when there are no services. It was heart-wrenching for us to have to decide that maybe it's time we have to close. The incidents happened in January. Akiona says one man went up to the altar during Mass, wanting to talk to the congregation about AIDS. Another incident involved a different man who approached Akiona as he greeted the congregation after a service. The thing that really pushed me over the edge was when that person made a derogatory statement about my ethnicity, you know, and I refused to talk with him, and then he just went berserk, you know. Pastor Akiona says he feared for the safety of the crowd around him. If anyone, the children or an elderly couple was injured, you know, I would feel responsible for that. Church ushers say they're used to homeless people seeking refuge in the cool church and empty pews. It comes and goes, the problem of the homeless and the drunks and the one on drugs. Sometimes they don't know what they're doing. But they say that's the scary part. There has been no disturbance since the beginning of February when the church hired police to protect the facility and congregation. I don't feel there's any other options, you know. I can't put them in jeopardy. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. St. Augustine's is also the site of the new St. Damien Museum currently under construction. When completed, the museum will hold artifacts and relics which might not be of any value to possible vandals but are priceless to parishioners.